Hi everyone, welcome to Tech Hub. Today I am going to show you a thermal space analysis on Abacus. I will do some temperature difference and make some thermal space on a composite material in which matrix is aluminium and silicon carbide is reinforcement. So let's start how to do it. So first of all open Abacus CAE. Click standard explicit model. So before start, I want to show you uh, what is thermal stress. Thermal stress is a stress which is created by any change in temperature, and the same is thermal strain. So first of all, uh, we have to make a part. So from module, click part and create part. But before creating part, I want to show you this thing. So this is our main model. So this will be this will be the final model of us. This one. So this is the reinforcement, and this is the matrix. So here this is the different material. I am using aluminium, and this is the same silicon carbide. So let's start. Create part part 1 and click 2d planner approximate size is 200 ok no problem continue so from this left bar this toolbox click on rectangle so now I have to put the dimension here this is 10 you see here in the below it's showing the dimension 10 click enter don't worry about the units in abacus all units are in same standard like i am using si unit that means meter kilogram like this also put the dimension here 10 enter Okay, uh, now from here create lines. Put some lines here like this. I'm 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 creating the space, the void. You see in the model like this one this void i am creating now so put the dimension also the upper 0 0.71 enter this one also 0 0.71 enter and from here to here this one will be 4.77 this one it's up to you the, the dimension is up, up to you just i am using my dimension 4.77 so this is done click escape click done so the first thing has been completed now i have to make a partition uh, to make a partition between the matrix and the reinforcement so click here partition face make some lines here to here escape again create a line okay okay so click done so now you see it's different this one is the matrix and this one is the reinforcement we will use aluminium material for this and silicon carbide for this and this is the void so part there is nothing to do more so let's move the, to the next module property so in this module i will create some material 
So click here, create material, change the name if you want, and add some elastic property for mechanical, click elasticity and then elastic. I will use Young modulus and Poisson ratio and remember to use tick mark here, use temperature dependent data because I am using different data for different temperature. So 69.2 gigapascal but I have to use this SI unit so in Pascal Poisson ratio. 0.33 temperature 3 to 3 like this and don't worry i will show you the total materials the total data of the materials later you can you can use from th that data Okay, this is done. Now let's move to the next properties plasticity and then plastic. We will add yield strength. This is also temperature dependent data. this is also done so next property expansion this is the coefficient of thermal expansion that means ct also temperature dependent data So all the properties for this material has been added. So click OK. OK, let's take a look. Seems OK for me. Click OK. And now we will add another material. Click create. Rename it. OK. For mechanical properties, elasticity and elastic. This is not temperature dependent data, so we don't put a tick mark here. Young modulus 450 into 10 to the power 9, Poisson ratio 0.18. For the expansion, make it temperature dependent. And this is also done. Click OK. So we have created two materials, aluminium and silicon carbide. Now we have to create section. So create click here, create section, change the name if you want. I will change it. Section matrix, continue. I will add the material aluminium to it. And I will create another section. Reinforcement continue material selection provide ok now it's time to assign this section click here and click this one done I will add this to matrix ok and this one done I will add this to reinforcement ok so the section has been assigned to now for 
and assembly you have to make one assembly so select all the parts and click ok so we have been created Conditions. Click here. Boundary condition one. Symmetry, symmetry. Okay. Continue. And at this edge, the upper left edge. Click done. Select end cluster. Okay. Same as before. Continue. This edge done. End cluster. Okay. Same as before. Continue this edge done and tester ok and I will add another boundary condition like before for this edge done and tester ok four boundary conditions and I will make some you know that you, will, you can see the steps so here at the initial steps open it there are four boundary conditions in predefined fields I have to create a predefined fields for temperature click other and then temperature continue for the whole part done I will add the magnitude this is 293 Kelvin okay this is my initial steps where I, I, I have added 293 Kelvin temperature then I will add another steps uh, step 1 or you can add I can put it high temperature because I am adding high temperature okay Continue. Okay, from here, initial you can have this 0 0.1. This one is a little bit change. 6. 100. Okay, click OK. And for the second step, we have created here a predefined fields. Okay, I have to edit something. Um, that one is a propagated, so I have to create another three different fields. Click other, temperature, continue, select all, done. The temperature is 773 Kelvin. Click OK. So this is our second temperature. So we are going to uh, put some temperature change uh, onto this model so we will see how it reacts how it changes if temperature change this is our main objective of this simulation so assembly done step done and next move is mesh but before creating this uh, I want to change something on field output request so here click edit or you can add another one so just from thermal and to get temperature element temperature so each element temperature i want to get click ok so now mesh from here from the mesh in the title bar Click controls. Okay, this is click here. And controls. Select all. Click done. And to make this and try. Okay.
حسن خط اکی های دم زدیم این دیگه از آر اکی کلیک کرد کلیک این دیگه از 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 این Okay, yeah, I like it. And then I will create mesh. Yes. So meshing is done. The next is create job. Click here, or you can directly click here. Create job. Continue. You can change it, but I will not change it for now. Click OK. So here in the job management, job manager, you will find this job you have just created. So after creating, you have to submit it. And when it is running, you can monitor the progress of your simulation. Uh, it, it will take some time. It depends on the performance of your computer. Okay. And waiting until it is done. Just wait for a moment. Yes, this is completed. So click on the results. So our result is, has been prepared. You see, in the next video, I will show you how to make some graphs uh, like a, like a strain versus temperature graphs from here. So until then, bye.